transfers to discuss, it's the start of the next season with the Grafsham. Roll the intro. Welcome back to the Gentleman Save. I'm Culture Left Foot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. We have two games in three days today. It's not quite the start of the league. We've played a couple of games already. This is how we've got on. We won the first one 2 1, beating Go Ahead Eagles, our pesky team that we couldn't beat last time. And then we lost to Young AZ, which was disappointing because they were bottom of the league. But it was a 90 second minute winner they won it in. So a bit unfortunate, really. Uh, we've got a very good crowd. I remember noticing that before. 12,600 people coming to see us beat Go Ahead Eagles, which was really, really good. Pre season was mixed, to say the least. Uh, we beat Achilles 7 1, and we, well, they're rubbish, so that was easy. Use Kritchen are also rubbish, but we only just about beat them with a penalty. We drew with the AZ first team, which is quite good. Uh, we lost to Offenbach, which was terrible. We drew with Ado Den Haag, which was unlucky. And we drew with NAC, which was neither here nor there, really. But we have made some transfers. So if we look at the transfer history, lots of ins, a few outs. Look at the outs first. Mark Diemers left on a free transfer. We knew this one was going to happen. He had a transfer arranged already. He's gone to SV Horn and is playing pretty damn well for them, which is annoying. We also let Alexander Tyrrelli go. Uh, on loan to MVV Maastricht, who are in our division. We want to keep an eye on him, so we're letting him go to the same division. Uh, see how he plays. Hopefully they're playing him a lot, and hopefully he'll play well. But that's going to be his sort of... If he cocks up playing for them, he's going to be out the door, if we're still here anyway. So he's gone. We bought him in last season, but he's gone now. But on the ins, we've bought in Robert Van... There's a theme. It appears, as de Grafschamp manager, I can only really sign defenders. Or I sign... A lot of defenders. Rather than just signing only defenders, I sign, I sign a lot of defenders. So here's the first one. Robert Van Kosveld is in. He's a centre-back slash left-back. Pretty good stats. Stamina's a bit crap. Crossing's a bit crap. But as a left-sided centre-back, which is what I think he'll be, uh, of our three, he's not looking too bad. He's given the number three shirt to sort of hint that he could be our starting left-back. That was until we bought someone else. We're also in the hunt for a goalkeeper, so we went and got one. Matthias Brandehorst has come in, and he is our number one quite easily. Good current ability, good potential ability. 26 years old, in for 65k. Started okay, conceded three goals in two games. Not really his fault, though. Uh, yeah, Hamda Bietenheck comes in as well. He's a holding midfielder slash centre midfielder. Pff, not too bad. Director of football bought him in before he got sacked. Um, I've sacked the director of football. He bought this guy in. Pretty decent potential. He's in the reserve team. Alessandro Silani, right back, joins us from Mastodic. I think he looks quite good. Good pace, good acceleration, good crossing, good dribbling, good concentration, decisions. Everything you need as a wing back or a full back, he's got it in his locker, which is a very good thing to see. 24-year-old Belgian, our starting right back, given the number two shirt. After him, Tom Anderson joins from Carlisle on a free transfer. Another centre-back. Um, he's in. He's basically the guy who I want to win headers. He's six foot four, good jump in reach. Um, pretty decent bravery as well, which is good. Good positioning, good teamwork, good marking, good heading. Tackling's a bit low, but he's literally just there to stop us conceding from set pieces. Um, another centre-back joins him. Mackie Bagnak is in. He has a bit of versatility. He can play all up the middle pretty much. But again... Pretty strong. He's a bit on the shorter side, but pretty strong. Good all-round stats. He's been given the number five shirts. Again, it's a hint that he's going to be in and amongst the first team. Next up, Danny Backer joins us on a loan from Cam Burr, who are in the Eredivisie. Just some good stats. He had a decent decent year last year for them um, in the Eredivisie. 17 appearances, averaging 6.93. Should perform pretty well at the division down, but... He's, um, yeah, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. Given the number 16 shirt, read into that what you will. But as an advanced playmaker, I think he looks pretty decent. Um, Toto Tamuz joins us. A bit of a competition for Ivanov as a target man up front. He's a little bit small, 5 foot 10, but he comes with experience. Has some decent stats in there as well. Good jump and reach, good balance. All in all, a pretty good backup target man. We were going to try and buy him, um, but it just wasn't worth the risk. He's 
not going to play too many games for us. He's on a rotation contract. So, yeah, he's he's in to help out. And then we bought in Cosveld as our starting left back. And then this guy came available for a total of possibly 90k. He's 18 years old, a Croatian, a potentially five star. A good marking, good tackling, good determination, good co concentration, really good physical stats, good teamwork, good positioning. I mean, we're not going to hold on to him. He is going to go. He was determined to get that minimum fee release clause in for 375k, which is fine. We've bought him for 90, so that's not too bad. But he looks like he's probably going to be our starting left back. Unfortunately, I did the shirt numbers before he joined. Uh, there has been a slight tweak to the tactic. We're now playing with a flat back five, but wing backs in those positions that are on attack. Um, push, keep Charles Lee in his attack midfield role. This is the team we're going to be using today. And what I love about this, one, two, four, five, six, 27, seven, eight, nine, 10, 16, because I gave the number 11 shirt to Van der Herk in case we ever play three up front. So that's why that's happened. We are also learning a four, four, two, which is very basic, no tactics, We'll go into that if we ever use it. But we have, as I said, two games in three days, which is tough on the old legs. Excelsior are up first, and then Young Ajax are next up. So thank you, everybody, for the comments telling me that PSV can't get promoted, or Young PSV can't get promoted because PSV are in the first team. I did know that. I just phrased my question to you guys terribly, terribly badly. Um, oh, we had a youth intake, obviously. And we've signed, we got a very good person in our regens. This guy here, Harry Huberts, joined us. Potentially five star potential. Looks like he could be pretty good. But we got, which is fantastic news for me, and a big thank you to Jan Petrik. I really hope I'm saying your name right, Jan. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got the first bit of it right. I, yeah, I really hope I've got that right. I've just had to check it on Patreon, which is why there's a bit of an edit there. I appreciate that you're you're donating every month that's really really nice of you if you want to do it you can anyone else can do it the links in the description but Jan as is in there you are going to get the Harry Huberts is going to be you from now on because you've paid the fee that will allow you uh, uh, wow I need to be able to search it don't I so let, I think it's a double asterisk you need to put in front of it Um. so yeah can you put it at the end of it that would oh not this is going terribly well. You thought I would have uh, done this earlier, but I want to give Jan his uh, his thanks. So can I do that, Jan Petrix? And if I go into here and search double asterisk, too many matching results. I'm going to assume that is then. Oh right, what can I put in here? Jan Petrick CLF. That's easy to do, isn't it? Because that then means every time I search CLF. There he is, Jan Petrick. Right, Jan, you are in the game. You are immortalized in this Journeyman series. We shall be keeping an eye on how you do and how it goes. There are plenty of regens if we go back to the under-19s. If anybody else wants to donate on Patreon, please feel free. The link's in the description. You will get a regen named after you. Even if you donate $1 a month, it is much appreciated. And it's really nice of you. So thank you very, very much. So anyway... Enough of that thank you stuff, enough of all of that. Let's get into the game because that's why you guys are here. We've done the transfers, we've done the tactics, it's time to go and play Excelsior. So as mentioned before, we're playing with a flat back five, the two in the middle, Chambers and Backer, Charles Lee in front of them, Ivanov playing off, Taylor Crosdale up front, Lubchic, Bagnik, Warren, Knight and Sirani are the back five. Branderhorst is in goal. You're getting to see a lot of new faces today. So Branderhorst, Sirani, Lubchic, Backer, uh, and then on the bench, possibly new to you for you to see, is Tammuz. And I think that may be it, actually, on the bench. We've got a pretty solid bench. T. Anderson, do you know who? Oh, no, Tom Anderson, yeah, the centre-back, yeah. You might get to see him as well. Now, while I'm doing the team talk, I will go out there and say, any comments you write on this video, I probably... I'll try and respond to them, but I will be in New York when this video um, goes live. So don't... Try not to be too offended if you ask me a question or something, or I'm going to ask you a question in the second game. But, yeah, if I don't respond straight away, I will respond to all your comments. I do try my hardest to respond as soon as I can, but we'll have to see um, how it goes, because I will be in very cold and wintry New York, where it's currently minus 11, which is going to be very, very chilly. So we have a highlight, a goal kick early on, Brander Horst forward. Up to even off, flicks it on. Taylor Crosdale, can he have the pace to get in behind? He sort of does. It's a good save from the goalkeeper, and Heyman's 
clears it away. A throw in. Sirani has it. Sirani into Charlesley. Charlesley, will he use him again? He does. Sirani's made a good run. Right, he's got a good crossing. We know that. He's picked out even off. Shoots at the near post. Good save again from the goalkeeper. It might have even hit the woodwork. Half an hour gone off. 35 minutes gone now. And we haven't capitalised on the early chances we made. It's not been the best of performances from us at the moment. So a highlight for Excelsior, it looks like. Matrusi ball in. Boom. Bunjaki back to him, Haspalat to Bosses. Bosses, Boz, Boz, probably. Masood, good tackle from Sirani, falls to Boz, shot blocked. Comes back to him, a good ball to Haspalat. Haspalat to, they've got some amazing names in Excelsior. Boss, infield, Bunjaki's there. And this is uh, terrible for a game we've pretty much, well, we haven't dominated. They've got massively back into it. But we've hit the post twice and had two half chances. This is a, a terrible, terrible start. We might have to bring out that 4-4-2 and give it a go. It's got to half time. We are still 1-0 down. This is not going very well at all. So we are going to give that 4-4-2 a go. Um, how do we do this then? So who's not playing? This? So Warren can stay on for night. You two can... Well, we'll leave you as it is for now. Fullback, fullback. Charlesley in the middle. Chambers is going to come off and be replaced by... Van der Herk is going to go on that wing. And on the right wing will be Ernest Sevier, who is naturally a winger, which is good. Even and Taylor Crosdale will keep their places up front. We will bring on Toto Tamuz if we need a different option. We can also go to the 4-3-3 if that's what we need to do. But I'm going to talk to the team zone aggressively. Show me something else. This has been pretty, pretty rubbish. And then good cop, bad cop with myself. I have faith in you. Go out there and bloody win this game. As the second half gets underway, we change that 4-4-2 and let's see how it gets on. About an hour gone and it is not... Toto Tamuz is coming on to replace Ivanov because his rating has just absolutely plummeted at the moment. So the third and final sub is done with only an hour gone. Can Toto Tamuz be the answer to change this game up? Masood for Excelsior, short to Hazpalat. Shot from distance over the bar. It's a pretty terrible effort, to be honest. Going to be a... Well, it's going to have to be an awesome shot from that range to put it in. We're going to go on to attacking. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. That one there, please. Attacking. Uh, it's just... Uh, it's so annoying. Probably should have gone for... I still can go 4-3-3, can't I? Because I've got... For the last 10 minutes, still I do it. 4-3-3 narrow. Let's do it. Back at the Sevier Charles. They can all play there. That's fine. Come on. 4-3-3. We need a goal. So, into the last minute of injury time, and Warren clears it. This is going to be the end of the game. Haspelat up to Asparti. There's the final... Oh, no, he's offside. Isn't there? There's the final whistle. But I think it will be anyway, as soon as this is set to be taken. There it is. A 1-0 loss against Excelsior. This has not been the most uh, brilliant of starts to the season. I'm, I'm far from pleased with what I just saw. Oh, yeah. Seems motivated. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? Nobeds. All right. Two days' time, we'll be playing Young Ajax... We'll see you there. And here we are against Young Ajax. So, 4-4-2 four, four, is what we see. But Ander Horst in goal. Sirani, Knight, Warren and Lubacic are the back four. And the Sevier, Charles Lee, Chambers and Baka are in the middle. Ivanov and Taylor Cross, they'll start up front. They line up in a 4-2-3-1. With Vaclav Czerny starting. He is incredible. He's going to rip me to pieces. Absolutely rip me to pieces. And Maduro, he's pretty good, isn't he? I think he's the one that played last time. Oh, this isn't fair. M. Baka... I mean, this isn't fair. Their team's really good. Um, I'm pretty sure Cherny is... He's actually in the Ajax main team. That is not fair. That's not allowed. It shouldn't be allowed. Right, 4-4-2. We're playing on the counter. Let's uh, let's get into him. Let's see what he wants to say. Hand over to assistant. Nothing. Brilliant. Half of them switched off. Right, assertively, I want to see a good performance. I want to see a good performance. We'll get into the old theme of bobs right question for you guys out there in the wonderful world of the internet who is your all-time favorite footballer ever favorite footballer ever is a very easy question i've asked it well, once before i think on the marable or say obviously we've got a lot of new subscribers since then and um, for me nemanja madic nemanja madic nemanja vidic was very very good uh, as a center back he was just superb i'd like to see him but um, my favourite all-time player of all time. Favourite all-time player of all time is probably... It's really tough. I really liked Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Really like an infatuation. And actually, I actually had an infatuation with Ruud van Nistelrooy as well. But uh, with a Sevier is tackled by Klaver. And here come Ajax on a counter. He's held it up very well, Srivelli. Back to Lescano. Lescano to Srivelli again. 
Trevelli just holding onto the ball, slowing it down quite a lot, Ajax. Uh, into Cerny, the guy that's going to completely rip us apart. Into Lazcano. Trevelli again. It's uh, back to Lazcano. Lang, this has got goal written all over it at the end of it. Horvath, Cervelli shoots, good save from uh, Brandehorst. Back across and Lubcic gets a header on it. And Backer completes the clearance-ish. It's still with Lang. Lang for Ajax in the centre of the midfield to Kleber. Kleber up to Cerny. Cerny to Lezcano. Into Crivelli. It's got a goal at the end of it. Always does. Always does. Their guy that's also, I'm pretty sure, plays for the first team. Let's have a look. Enzo Chiavelli. Oh, yeah. Shock it. 11.25 million. It's just cheating. It's just blatant cheating playing people like that in this division. It shouldn't be on. Shouldn't be fair. But anyway, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, Ruben Nistroy, uh, Vidic. They, they all played for Man United, weirdly. Uh, the ball's gone in. It's nearly an own goal. But we get a corner out of it. I'm trying to think of other really good players. Ronaldinho was just... He just played with a smile on his face, and it was really good. Maldini was really good, showing my age a little bit now. As uh, Resevier puts that in, it's a bit of an okay clearance. Back up, back to Resevier. Resevier in he goes. Ivanov heads it down, looking for Crosdale, but he couldn't quite get there. Horvath will come forward, but that's the end of that highlight. And this this uh, league table isn't looking too good at the moment. Down in 17th with one win. Okay, the 4-4-2 is not working. We are not having um, any sort of luck with it. So even if I was going to go into the target man, we're going to play Charsley up front at the moment, and we'll go with that. 4-3-3, let's go and get some goals. We haven't even had a shot, so it can't get much worse, can it, to be honest? Okay, we're into half time, and we are getting absolutely annihilated. So I'm going to, you know, everyone's just got to dig in, dig deep. That's what we've got to do. I'm not going to bollock them every single time, and we're going to completely mix this up. So Resevier is going to drop back there. We're going to have you two in midfield. Charsley on the right. We're going to play... Oh, do I don't want a target man or do I don't want a pace? Taylor Crosdale's going to stay up front. Ivanov's going to go onto the left wing. We're going to play a 4-1-2-2-1 two, two, one, or a 4-1-2-3 wide or whatever you want to call it. And we've actually... Oh, they can all pretty much play there. You want to be a, Everyone just wants to be a bloody playmaker. I'll tell you what. If we want to be a playmaker, let's short pass in and bloody keep the ball then. How about that? Uh, flexible standard okay can, let's go Let, let's go let's go change formation one up front let's see if it can work keep the ball keep the ball and use it are we still looking for the overlap because that would be no we weren't no we're not looking for the overlap that's fine right we've had two shots one on target so that's an increase good it's working we're going to win the league Okay, right, some changes are going to happen straight away. Back is going to go into there. Chambers is going to drop back for Charlesley. He's going to be the advanced playmaker. And then he is going to come off for Johan Terhorst on the right wing out here. What do you... Oh, you actually... That's where you want to play, is it? Interesting. Okay, on the left wing, we're going to put Van der Herk on for Ivanov. And you're going to be, you can, oh, inside forward on support. And then we'll push you up to a wing back on attack. See if we can get an overlap going there. Sidani, you can become a full back on defend. So you don't have to push up as much. And Taylor Crosdale, you're going to be replaced by Toto Tamuz as a target man on support. Three subs, bish bash bosh. Let's go out there and do it. And we're going to go up to attacking because we need a goal. So Lang has the ball for Ajax in the centre. Les Carno. He's uh, hounded around by a lot of people. Cerny's there. Cuts in field to Slivelli. Good block. But Slivelli gets it back. It's a penalty. Their £11 million man, as far as I care, has taken a dive to win a penalty. And he's gonna, probably going to put it in. It's uh, Oh, it's not. It's Lescano. Lescano steps up and he sticks it in. It's 2-0. This is terrible. What is going on here? Okay, backer. If you drop back there, no. You'd want to be... just. Everyone wants just to be a playmaker. It's so annoying. Charlesley, centre midfielder. On, at oh, on attack, take off, close down sometimes, higher the tempo still, exploit the middle, look for the overlap, work the ball into the box. Oh, let, in fact, let's just, yeah, get stuck in, play slightly narrow. I'm just get, reverting to type is what I'm doing here. I'm going for a formation that I know has worked previously, pass into space, uh, and play out of the defence. There we go, job done. Confirm the changes. If this is a turnaround, then we know what we're playing for the rest of the season. Back out with the the free kick up to Cerny. Cerny to Lescano. Lescano, Cerny and Crivelli have just run this whole game. As a, there he is again, out to Lang. Lang comes forward, crosses it. I mean, what is going on there between the goalkeeper and the centre-back? This is absolutely terrible. It wasn't delightful, was it? It was shocking. It was shocking. 3-0 down. It's all gone to pot. This season could be a write-off. 
when do I start looking for a new job? <laughs> Jefferson to Cerny. Uh, Cerny comes forward, shoots. He's hit the side net in. I mean, literally ripping us to shreds. Harry Charlesley on a 6.0. Cerny, 6.0. Charlesley, 5.9. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. And to make it even worse, we have an injury which we can't change because we've used up all our subs. So, brilliant. Les Carno puts it into the box. It's a really crap header. Maduro back across Vegas there. He stuck it in. I mean, have I got the right... I have actually got my goalkeeper in goal. I mean, he's acting like he's not a goalkeeper. He's going to get dropped for the next game. We're going to skip this. This is terrible. Absolutely shocking performance. Van der Herk has picked up a knock as well, a twisted knee, so that's going to be both of them out. Him and Ter Horst out for a while. Toto Tamuzen, I mean, doesn't even attempt to stop that tackle. Just pretty much saw him come in, stepped aside, let him tackle him. Absolutely terrible. Blow the whistle, ref. Just blow, just blow the whistle. Get it over with. This has been possibly one of the worst episodes I've ever put out on my channel, for results-wise. Probably for entertainment-wise. I'd, I'd like to think you guys are more entertained when I win. But that might not be the case. You might like to see me absolutely like screw things up. Warren to Sirani. Um, I don't know why we're still playing. It's two minutes over the allotted. And that's, what is that? Oh, well, there's no one there. Why is he passing it up the wing if there's no one bloody there? Um, infield. There's the final whistle. It brings the Lescano show to an end. Absolutely dominated. Really, really bad. Um, I'm far from pleased. Far from pleased. That was awful. And next up, we play the team that are in second. But we're not going to show that today. There will be another episode. Hopefully, I can record it tonight or tomorrow and get that out while I'm in New York as well. And, um, yeah, shocking. A terrible episode. Thank you very much for watching. The mix of tactics clearly didn't work. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know who your favourite footballer of all time is. If you've got one or name two or three, um, however many you've got. And, uh, yeah, thanks once again very much to Jan Petrik. It's very nice. Leave a comment. Um, so I can thank you in the comments as well and you'll forever have that region named after you in this game but for now thank you very much for watching and I'll chat to you all very very soon I'm out cheers